This is an ABC 10 News update. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt in the ABC 10 News studio. Today marks the commemoration of the day the last remaining slaves found out they were free after the Civil War. It's known as Juneteenth. Celebrations happen today in San Diego and around the country. Senators are proposing making Juneteenth a federal holiday. Several major companies are making it a paid holiday for their employees. The county is set to vote next week on three new policies addressing racial injustice. One would give the Citizens Law Enforcement Review Board authority to investigate any time a peace officer fires a weapon. Another would establish a new county office of equity and racial justice. And the third would be the creation of a crisis response team that would redirect mental health and homeless calls to clinicians instead of law enforcement. County supervisors will vote on these items next Tuesday. The San Diego Zoo is set to reopen tomorrow. The zoo's CEO and the mayor held a celebration ribbon cutting today. The crowds will be limited to 5,000 people at a time, about half of normal attendance. Facial coverings will be mandatory and everyone will have to answer health questions before buying a ticket. The zoo's safari park also reopens this weekend with similar restrictions. ABC 10 News meteorologist Angelica Campos is joining us now with the weather for tomorrow. Hi, Angelica. Hi, Kim. And tomorrow is also the first day of summer. We start summer in the afternoon. Temperatures will average in the low 70s at the coast, 77 inland. But expecting a warm-up next week coming up, I'll show you what we can expect.